Well, hey everyone, it's Andrew Bro, and in this video, we're gonna be taking a look at how to set up Avery business card template inside of Microsoft Publisher. So our question today uh, actually comes from Takoa Smith. I hope I'm saying your, your name right there, Takoa. Um, but she commented over on my video, how to make custom business cards in Microsoft Publisher. And in part two, I was actually showing how to do a full bleed business card. So Takoa, I think you're asking how to use the Avery uh, template or the, the Avery cards, but do full bleed. And it's a little bit tricky and it doesn't always turn out so well so we're gonna kind of cover some tips and tricks that you can do to make it work but her question is basically hi Andrew can you help me out with the measurements for 10 cards per page on Avery 8371 and still get the same effect so like I said I think what you're asking is still get that full bleed effect so that's what we're gonna cover today and if it's wrong hey just drop me a comment down below and I'll try and answer the question a little bit better uh, in another video. All right, let's go ahead and jump in. So these are the business cards that um, you were talking about. So here we go, Avery 8371. They are 10 up per page. We'll go ahead and click here and we can see their sample design is not full bleed. And also if you take a look at it, you'll notice that the kind of color swatch is actually closer to one edge than it is to the other. And that is not a design mistake. We'll actually cover why that happened and also why full bleed doesn't quite work on on Avery kind of pre-punched cards but as you can see it's 10 cards per page they're all kind of bumped right up against each other uh, sorry I don't have a better picture of that but um, hopefully it shows up in full HD you can kind of see the layout right there so first let's go over how would you set up publisher so that it actually prints on these cards so it's pretty easy we'll just jump out to Microsoft Publisher choose a blank page size that's portrait there we go we're gonna go over to page design drop the size down and go to page setup and now we're gonna go ahead and punch in the width and height of the individual business card which is um, 3.5 wide by 2 tall and I'm gonna go ahead and give it a margin for now of 0.125. I'm gonna go ahead and just copy that, paste it in. As we can see right now, it's not showing the correct margins over here, so we do need to put in the correct margins. So if we've got um, 3.5 on each card, uh, that is seven inches total, a page is eight and a half inches wide. So the side margin needs to be 0.75 because that's half of uh, one and a half inches. And then the top margin, so we got two, four, six, eight, ten. A page is 11, so that one's pretty easy. That's just gonna be 0.5. So now we have the exact same look uh, in, a, in a much better view of it at that um, is what we were seeing over here. So that's basically what we're looking at inside of our publisher template is, is what this is showing on the sheet if you couldn't see it um, inside of this slide. Once that's all set up, we're gonna go ahead and say okay, and now we're looking at just one of the business cards. Now, as I was saying, uh, full bleed is a little bit tricky. So typically with these Avery templates, if you're going to um, say drop a color box in, usually you'll keep this uh, what's essentially a um, quarter or an eighth, an eighth inch margin. So there's an eighth inch margin all the way around the sides. And then you'll go ahead and put in your, your shape and your color swatch like that. But you would leave this white. And the reason is, is every single printer is a little bit different and where things hit on the page can be two to three, sometimes four to five millimeters, which is almost a quarter of an inch or almost uh, an eighth of an inch, sorry, um, about an eighth of an inch off from where you want it to hit on the page. Now, if you're in a production environment like I am, then you have tools that allow you to skew the image or change where the image actually hits on the page. But on your home printer, 
uh, not so much. The tools are just not there to be able to change where the image is hitting. So what will happen is, is when you go to print, um, typically it'll look something like this. Your card will look something like that when it comes out. And it's not a mistake, it's just that somewhere in the translation of how the page goes into your printer and how it comes out of your printer, unless you're on a really high-end printer, uh, there can be some play from even from one page to the next. So, you know, one page might be over here and the next page may be looking something like that. On the on on the very next page because there really is that much play inside of the image. Um, so that is you know kind of what I would highly recommend is not doing full bleed if you're going to use uh, the Avery template instead use that video that I did before and actually just print on cardstock and then use your cut lines to trim it out using a rotary cutter or something like that. But if you're stuck and you have to use the Avery uh, business card, you know, pre-punched business card pages, there was two things I would say about that. First, make sure that you are putting it in a bypass tray for your printer. Do not put it in the normal tray that takes regular paper and kind of flips it and then prints on it. You want to print it on a printer that has like a little back door on it. You can put the back door down, put a piece of cardstock in and it passes it straight through. And that's very important because the pre-punched pages, if you send them through a printer that's, that kind of tips it or curls it, and before it goes through, when it makes that turn, it will punch all of those cards out on you and make a mess out of your printer and it may be it may completely destroy your printer if you if you do that. So make sure that you are using a pass-through tray or a bypass tray that keeps the page flat while it goes through your printer. So that's thing number one. Uh, if you did kind of want to get a full bleed design though and just kind of do your best to see how it lands on the page, there's two ways that you can do it. One, you could do the entire setup just like I did right here go ahead and go up to page design margins and we'll just completely get rid of them and what you can do is is you can go ahead and keep if so long as it's a solid color this is only work if it's a solid color you can go ahead and pull it off the end of the page so that way you can design uh, some things up in here you can design and reverse down here if you wanted to uh, but as you can see the color runs right to the edge of the card and then when we go to print it so here let's go into the print preview we'll see that the color swatch is like going all the way across now because uh, like I was saying the Avery template it can move a few millimeters on on either side you will get a full bleed look but some of the cards on the outsides here are going to have a little bit of a white space in there just because of of how that moves around so it's really the the i mean i wouldn't say the best way but the only way that you're going to be able to use this setup in order to do that another way that you could do it it's a lot more complicated but what you would basically want to do is go into a brand new design or brand new page and then you're going to use guides and I would pull a guide out to the center of the page so here we are at uh, four and a quarter and the half inch at the top is fine um, half inch at the bottom is fine but we need these margins here to each come in uh, a quarter of an inch so I would go over to the page design tab margins I would say custom and on the left I would change that to 0.75 and then on the right I'm gonna change that to point uh, whoops point seven five say okay and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go down the page and drop in some guides um, every two inches really every two and a half inches because we have an extra half an inch up here so we don't just want to go two four six and eight we want to actually go to two and a half so we can drop that one in right there now another way that we can do this is center back up this page let's go back over to the margins and um, or not the margins I'm sorry I want to say guides and I'm gonna say ruler guides right here and as I can see I have one at 2.5 so I could do a 2.5 which is already set then I could do 4.5 and then 6.5 
set that one and then eight um, and then the 10.5 is this line down here so I don't need to do anything go ahead and say okay and it's actually already dropped in all of the lines for us now the plus to doing it this way is that now I know that each one of these is going to be a card and it, it does mean that I have to spend a little more time designing because every single element that I place inside of this card I then have to copy and paste it into every single one of these spaces but let me show you something really cool that you can do with it if you want to take the time to set this up and that is instead of say creating your design element just for a single card like this you can now go ahead and drag it off of the the card design like this and we'll go ahead and go uh, back over to oh, let's see we're underneath it shape effects we'll say no outline there we go and then what I can go ahead and do is I can just hold down uh, control shift and I can go ahead and copy this and I'm just kind of eyeballing these so they're not going to be perfect right now but what I want to show you is there we go so let's say that was going to be your color swatch on the page going all the way off the card now you could go ahead and we'll just pretend that this right here is uh, we'll say uh, an image maybe your your profile image or something like that so let's go ahead and uh, turn that we'll just go ahead and turn it orange for fun and we'll leave a little space around it now because we're designing this and then we're just copying and pasting it into each card like so um, and I would do that to every single one of the cards and then I would go ahead and punch in my information but if you do it one print if you print on one of them and you notice that um, all of these elements are maybe printing a little too far this way well then you can just go into the design and even though you have a guide there when it actually printed on the page it was it you know it printed a little bit further over uh, whoops all you would have to do is come to this page and select everything on it and then using the arrow keys you just bump it in the direction it needs to go so maybe it actually needs to go something like that in order to hit in the correct position you know if this was the correct position right here you could just bump it left right up down and then do another test print and see how close it is on your page so that's kind of a way to cheat the system and actually get that full bleed look the only time that this doesn't work is let's say you wanted to have your uh, your profile image go all the way to the edge of the card right so let's let's take a look at this one and let's say you wanted your your profile image all the way in the corner and I never recommend doing that but let's say for some reason that's what you wanted to do okay let's go over to the home tab we'll pretend that this right here is your profile image and let's just go ahead and we'll we'll have it come off the edge of the card we'll do shape fill of orange so we know that that's the profile um, so notice we've got you know kind of that box going uh, going around it and if we go into print preview it's being cut off so it, it looks like it's gonna print properly um, but it's very very difficult to get it to hit right on the edge of the card so what will happen is is this card over here will have a little piece of your profile picture um, on the end of it um, or you have an element on this card that's showing up uh, just slightly on the edge of the other card over here um, you can control that a little bit better when you do when you do this layout where it's a full page and you're designing on that full page um, but once again it's still really really tricky if you have other design elements that you want to hit uh, kind of here in the center so I hope that makes sense uh, the best way to do this is do the setup the second setup like I did here and just use a color swatch that runs off the edge but everything else has to stay uh, right where it needs to be 
on the card. And of course, if you wanted to create a back to this card, you would then have to come over here, right click on your page, and um, say insert a duplicate page. So now everything on there is the same. Go ahead and delete everything off except for your margin lines. And now you can go ahead and drop your design elements and things in there so that you now have a back as well. Well, I hope all that made sense for you guys. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, take a second and do so. Also, go ahead and post your comments and questions about this down below. I will answer it in a future video, or if I can, just post a reply to any of your comments and questions within the next couple of days. Also, if uh, you love food uh, and family type stuff, you can jump over and um, look me up on Instagram. Also, you can check out my Facebook page over Andrew Bro YouTuber on Facebook. Um, also, you can connect with me on these other social media channels or jump on out and check out my website at andrewbro.com. All right, I will see you guys next time. Take care. Bye-bye.